Americans need a guarantee that the IRS will never be used again to target an administration's political enemies. Madam President, when a Republican President, Richard Nixon, attempted to use the IRS to target his political enemies, it was wrong. It was an abuse of power. And he was rightfully condemned on both sides of the aisle. Both Democrats and Republicans stood up to President Nixon attempting to use the IRS to target his political enemies and said this is wrong. The Obama administration j didn't just attempt to do so, it succeeded. It carried out a concerted effort targeting those perceived to be the political enemies of the president, targeting individual citizens. The administration then put in charge of the investigation two major Democratic donors and covered up the truth, including conveniently losing the emails from the central player in this figure who has twice pleaded the fifth. It was wrong when Richard Nixon tried to use the IRS to target his political enemies, and Madam President, it was wrong when the Obama administration tried and succeeded to do the same. The difference, when Richard Nixon do so, did so, Republicans had the courage to stand up to a member of their own party. It saddens me that there is not a single Democratic member of this body who has had the courage to stand up to their own party and say this abuse of power, using the IRS to target citizens for political beliefs, is wrong. Madam President, we need a special prosecutor with meaningful independence to make sure that justice is served and that our constitutional rights to free speech, to assembly, and to privacy are protected. It saddens me to say that the U.S. Department of Justice, under Attorney General Eric Holder, has become the most partisan Department of Justice in the history of our country. I say this as a former alumnus of the Department of Justice, as a former Associate Deputy Attorney General at the U.S. Department of Justice, I can tell you there are Republican and Democratic alumni of the Department of Justice across this country who are saddened, who are heartbroken to see the Department of Justice becoming effectively an arm of the Democratic National Committee. IRS officials have stonewalled at every turn and we should not wait a single minute to put an end to the intimidation and bullying of the American people. These are not the actions of a government that respects the citizenry. We need to restore that respect, that government officials work for the people and not the other way around. Madam President, the Department of Justice has a storied history. There is a history of attorneys general standing up to political pressure even against the presidents who have appointed them. Listen, political pressure in this town is nothing new. And attorneys general throughout history have had a special medal of being willing to look in the eyes of the president who appointed them and being able to say, I care more about rule of law than any partisan allegiance I might have. When President Richard Nixon faced charges of abusing government power for partisan ends, his attorney general, Elliot Richardson, a Republican, appointed Archibald Cox as special prosecutor. And likewise, when President Bill Clinton faced charges of ethical improprieties, his attorney general, Janet Reno, a Democrat, appointed Robert Fisk as independent counsel. Sadly, the current attorney general has refused to live up to that bipartisan tradition of independence, of integrity, of fidelity to law. Repeatedly, I have called on Attorney General Eric Holder to remove the investigation from the hands of a major Obama donor and put it instead in the hands of a special prosecutor with meaningful independence, who at a very minimum is not a major Democratic donor. Even the very slightest respect for rule of law would suggest that the Attorney General should not be part and parcel of a political and partisan cover-up. 
Therefore, I intend in a few moments to ask for unanimous consent to call up a Senate re resolution expressing the opinion of the Senate that the Attorney General should appoint a special prosecutor to investigate and prosecute if the facts su support the IRS targeting of Americans and its potential cover-up of those actions. When I asked the Attorney General whether the Department of Justice has investigated the direct involvement of political appointees at the White House, up to and including the President, Attorney General Holder refused to answer that question. Madam President, that's always the hardest thing for an Attorney General to do, to ask the question that raises partisan peril. That's why Attorneys General are supposed to be nonpartisan and owe their fidelity to the Constitution, the laws of this United States, and to the American people.